Hey guys, how you doing? So, just a quick video about entrepreneurship, when to start a business. The younger, the better. The younger, the better. A few reasons why. Because business is not easy, number one. Number two, you're gonna have to learn the skill. Like any other skill, it takes time. And when you get older, most people have a lot less flexibility uh, in terms of their finances, a lot less flexibility in terms of their mental capacity to, to change, to adapt, to, ch you know, to rock and roll. Very important. I once saw a couple older fellows in their late 50s, and they were very smart guys, highly educated, involved in corporate uh, business practices. They were older and they decided they're gonna start a business. And um, one of the dangers actually having that, uh, starting when you're older, you're gonna have a little bit more money, which means you're gonna make more mistakes with more money. So anyway, long story short, they were making these really rookie mistakes, like total beginner mistakes with regards to business. And they got taken for a ride by some people. And it was just like obvious stuff that anybody with a few years experience uh, would have known, hey, you don't do that. So I'm not saying don't start a business when you're older. You know, because when you're older, if you mess up, you don't have an extra 20 years to recover, right? If you start a business when you're 20, I started my business at 18. If you mess up, you, you know, you're, you're young. You mess up five years later, you're still like, you're 23 years old, no big deal. You know, if you start a business at 30, you mess up five years later, you're only 35, it's no big deal. But if you mess up your business, uh, you start a business at 50, and by the time you hit 54, 55, the whole thing fails, and you spend money like a drunken sailor, you're in big trouble, you're in big trouble. So you don't wanna be that person, you wanna be a little bit wiser uh, in terms of business. So if you're older watching this, you have to approach starting a new business with extreme caution, well, especially at any age. But when you get older, yeah. And if you got money saved up for retirement, you don't, you don't put at risk your retirement money. Even if you're convinced with a 100% certitude that this business is going to work for you. If you're older, you don't risk your retirement money on a business because a lot of businesses fail. The vast majority fail. So you don't want to fail with your retirement money or you take a big chunk of out of your retirement money and then next thing you know, you've lost it all and you're, you're 55 and you're, you're in trouble. Not a good thing. Another thing you want to do is you want to stay in your lane. What do I mean by that? I'll give you the example. So there's this guy, friend of a friend, very successful, sold his uh, manufacturing business, uh, I think this was years ago for about, I think it was 10 million bucks. So he sells the business for 10 million bucks. Hey, I'm set. This is years and years ago, so it'd be equivalent to maybe better 15, 20 million today. Anyhow, so he sells the business, manufacturing, uh, industrial hardware. That's what he manufactured. Anyway, long story short, he decided that he was gonna go into the restaurant business. He never ran a restaurant before. Very successful businessman with the manufacturing of industrial hardware, but never ran a, uh, a restaurant before. So what happened? One million, two million, three million, four million, dumped into this restaurant. Never made money, he's constantly all these problems. Why? Because the guy never ran a restaurant before. He was not a restaurateur. It's not a, it's, it's, it is not a trivial skill, right? It's non-trivial to run a restaurant. It's a lot of work. You got to know what the hell you're doing. A lot of subtleties in that business. I have a good friend of mine who's one of the most successful restaurants in, uh, in, in the city I live in. Anyhow, long story short, so this guy finally pulled the plug on the business because the family pushed him, said, hey, hey, you're spending all your retirement money. You, just, you burned through 40% of your, your life savings on this business uh, that you don't know anything about. So yeah, it's another uh, thing. You don't want to jump into 
some industry, some business that you don't know about uh, risking all your money as well because everything has a learning curve. And the final point about business you have to recognize, and I don't think it's said enough, there's a lot of luck in business. There's a lot of luck. There's a huge element of luck. I know people who've made a fortune simply because they got very, very lucky. And in moments of honesty, they will admit that. Now, they're good operators, they did everything right, they're smart, but if it wasn't for that stroke of luck, manna from heaven, they would have never succeeded. So yeah, you have to uh, approach business very cautiously at any age, but when you're older, and you've never done business before, or you're trying to jump into a type of business if you've never done before, a category of business, you don't do with money you can't afford to lose. That's a circumstances where I would say you raise money so that uh, you don't put yourself into financial dire straits. On the other hand, if you're a young whippersnapper, 18, 20, 25, even 30, you have a lot of years ahead of you. So that's a time where you can take bigger risk uh, even with your own money, but don't go crazy because you're going to make lots of mistakes. Anyway, I hope this video is useful. Um, I decided to record it here with my iPhone on the beach. One of the things you should always do when you're in business is relax. Relax. you got to calm down your nervous system. There's nothing like the ocean to do that. We'll talk soon. Cheers.